up guys, it's Modfather66, back with another ESO video, and today I just wanted to quickly run through what I think is the the best house that you can buy for the value for money. I know a lot of players like me, and uh, there's relatively new players to game, and that's alright, you know, new players are joining the game all the time. And uh, with the recent <coughs> crown sale that we've had on, I know a lot of people are going to have more crowns than what they should have, even if they've got... ESO Plus, which is 1500 crowns a month. I've just picked up 5,500 crowns for just under 20 quid. Or I think it's $25, round about that mark in the uh, in US. But I bought this house with gold, it's 325,000 gold. And if you look through the uh, the page for the houses and have a look around a few of them, this house gets so much more for the money. I don't know why it's this cheap. It was 325,000 gold. That is unfurnished. I think if you buy it furnished, it's about 4,500 crowns. But that comes with everything all the, uh, the trees, the stones, the boulders, everything outside, the furniture inside. But I didn't want to spend my crowns on that. So I've been saving up for gold for quite a bit to buy this house. It just so happens that the, uh, the crown sale happened when I did have enough gold. So thought, you know what, I'll just save crowns. But anyway guys, this house is a uh, Mornold Keep. Not Mornold Keep, sorry, not Mornold. It's uh, right at the top of Bankerai, you've got a dolmen outside if you want to find the, uh, the set pieces that drop in Bankerai. You've got all this courtyard out front. Can't reach from that way. I'll take through it inside first. On the outside, I think I'd have crafting stations and what. This is my little uh, tiger cub keeping guard. This I'll probably have as like a uh, dining area. Might even put some uh, some dummies in here for testing for DPS. Obviously, a fireplace, cooking fire, eating area. And you go upstairs. This is obviously where you'd have your bedroom area. I know it does look relatively small for 325,000 gold, but trust me, if you just have a look through the brochure and travel to different um, houses and have a look, you do get so much more. Because this is like 325, I think for like 280,000 is the cheapest one uh, underneath this, and it's literally nothing. It's just. A tiny room downstairs, a tiny room upstairs, but for this, you do get all this area upstairs as well. As well as the courtyard, as I mentioned before, you could have all the crafting stations or target practice areas. <coughs> it w if you're a small guild as well, this wouldn't make a bad guild house. But a lot of areas, a couple even multiple beds in the house. So uh, yeah guys, I just uh, thought I'd bring you this quick video on what I thought, in my opinion, is the best value for money house. Now there's a lot of players, you might have got to a point where you've saved up enough gold to buy your first house. Or as I previously mentioned, if you've had a little spending spree on the crowns, you'll be able to buy it furnished as well. I'm lucky enough to have friends on this game that know how to craft furniture and you know all I've got to do is send them materials. I'm sure they won't mind sending me some uh, materials for free, uh, some furniture for free anyway. You can find more materials. But like I say, you can come outside. You've got a dolman just down here which is generally a pretty busy one. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad for 5 minutes XP. Quest around here as well. I forgot what gear set it is to drop some down the uh, Yeah, that's what I'm doing for this video, guys. I hope so. It's right to uh, make a decision on your first house. If it has, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe. It does help the channel out. Nearly 130 subscribers. It's not a lot, but it does mean the world to me. So, uh, yeah, guys, that'll do it for this video. As always, I've been the Mod Father 66, and I'll see you all next time.